sorry about that, guys. Uh, well, anyway, it says whether you find yourself in uh, needing forgiveness of judging others, desiring assurance to no sin is beyond his grace. Be encouraged by this, that no one is throwing stones today. Go and be changed by God's mercy. You know that we uh, cannot look down on anyone because we are all are with sin. Uh, even having the wrong thoughts about somebody is a sin. No sin is greater than the smallest one. All sin is sin. So no matter what sin you have committed, it is telling us that God is a God of grace and mercy, that he will forgive us and that he will let us start anew. Uh, if we have to ask him for forgiveness or repent, as you might want to say it, but God is a grace of mercy, grace and mercy. So no matter what you do, God will forgive you. No matter what your sin is, uh, no matter what you have done, no matter what the situation is that you have done, forgiveness is always the key from God to make us a new and to start us on the right path. So I encourage somebody today that don't know Jesus and a pardon of their sins to ask him to forgive you uh, and start living on the right path. Guys, we are living, darlings, we are living in the last days. If you look at the signs of the world and the things that happen in this world that you go, hmm, never in this lifetime would I have thought. Uh, is telling us in the Bible everything that's going to happen, and it is giving us signs. Time is winding down, and um, I just encourage somebody that if you don't have your life right, because I don't want to see nobody be left behind, you know, um, get closer to God, draw closer to Him, because it's, the time is drawing near. So I'm just going to um, go ahead and close this thing out. I thank you guys for taking time out to uh, discuss my little reading for today. Um, we all need Jesus and we need him every day. So um, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, that one down there, that red one right there, and turn it from red to gray and become part of my uh, darling family because that's what I consider you all. And while you're right there, go ahead and hit that bell so you know of time that I upload. Um, I really appreciate you guys, as I said, darlings, as I said before, I really appreciate darlings for um, supporting me. If you have anything to say to me at all, please leave it right down there in the comment section. I like meeting new people. I like talking to new people. And guys, it's all about support. If one comes to your channel and supports you, go back to their channel and support them. Because sooner or later, if you don't go and uh, support them, then when you wonder where they went, it's because you don't show the same support so be sure to support anybody that supports your page go to their page and show them that same kind of appreciation that they're showing you um i'm going to go ahead and close this thing out before i do and as i always say darlings danny loves you and god loves you also and bye until my next video darlings be blessed Hello darlings, how is everyone doing today? I hope everyone is having an amazing day. And if you haven't already, let's give the Lord some praise because he allowed us to see this day that was not promised to you or I. And for that, we need to tell him thank you. And so today, my reading to us was in a, within a stone's throne. And it was talking about how the uh, religious leaders herded an adulterous woman towards Jesus. They didn't know they were carrying her within a stone, within a stone throne of grace. And it says it was hope in hope to discredit God, I mean Jesus, and um, discredit him. And if he told them to let the woman go, then they could claim that he was breaking the Mosaic law. Um, but he condemned her to, but if he condemned her to death, the crowd followed him would have dismissed his word of mercy and grace but jesus turned the tables on the accusers he started writing on the ground and um when the leaders continued to question him he invited any of them over there uh 
who had never sinned to throw the first stone. So he kept on writing on the ground again. The next time he looked up, all the accusers was gone, meaning none of them uh, could cast a stone because they all had sinned. And uh, it says the only person that could th throw a stone um, uh, looked at the woman and gave her mercy, which was Jesus. And he said, neither do I condemn you, Jesus declared. Go now and live your life of sin. Leave your life of sin, John 8 and 11. And it says whether you find your...